I've heard it said that buying or selling a house can be the most stressful thing you ever have to deal with. Personally, I disagree with this statement. I think that being kidnapped by terrorists, locked in a dark room and repeatedly tortured will be slightly more stressful. However, it's definitely up there. So, yesterday we exchanged on this house, which is absolutely brilliant. However, this has been going on, well, it's first sold start of January this year. It's currently the very end of July. So we had two buyers pull out, which completely out of my control. Second one of these was nine weeks into the process. This is the problem I believe with the system in the UK. However, that's a whole nother video. The reason I'm making this video is there's a number of points here that are covered in the five modules and 20 units that are in the upcoming course that I've got coming out, the beginner's guide to property renovation and development. So three of those sections, even three of those sections, are how to best prepare your house for sale. This is a massive one. This gives you the best chance of earning the optimum amount of money. Then there is how to be a good buyer and how to be a good seller. Obviously, I practice this in all my affairs. When I am selling a house, I literally jump through hoops. If the hoops were on fire, I would still jump through them and this is how we get things done. Fortunately for me, the person who's purchased this house was an exceptionally good buyer. I could not fault him at all. And the main reason for this is it's quite simple and it comes down to communication. So the first thing I do when I agree to purchase or sell a house is I say, I would like to speak to directly, like conversation, the other party. I then go to them and nine times out of 10, if they're a reasonable person, you can have a conversation and you can say, this is what I need, this is what I expect, this is my timelines. And you can work out between the two of you all of these things. What this does, this saves so much time, hassle, and to and fro between lawyers. So a lot of people won't do this because they think, well, I'm paying a lawyer a load of money, so therefore they should be doing all this. If, however, you get a rubbish lawyer, we had one lower down the chain, they took three weeks to relay some answers to some simple questions. This could have been done in a couple minute conversation. So quite simply, just by communicating well, it can save everyone a load of time and hassle and make your life a lot easier. So if you are interested in learning more about how to make your life a lot easier and a load of money out of property renovation and development, yep, you know the drill. Head over to the website, sign up to the newsletter, and you'll be the first to know. Have a good weekend. Bye.